hello everyone welcome back to motion mix in today's video you are going to learn how to create this cool 3d motion graphic product ad with canva we'll start our project by opening mobile video after you've opened mobile video choose a blank canvas go to elements and in the search bar type musical instrument background Choose the first image and place it onto your canvas. Resize and uh, position your image. This is the image that we are going to use as our background. Make sure that it fits your canvas. Now you are going to upload your images. Go to upload and bring your images onto your canvas. These are the pictures that we are going to use. If you can go to Google and look for these pictures. Now we can bring our first image onto our canvas. Position your image and then resize it. Duplicate your canvas and then after duplicating your canvas, go to uploads and then upload another image. This time around we are going to upload this image of an open case. In our previous canvas, we uploaded the one that is closed. So bring your case onto your canvas. Place your second image in front of your first image and make sure that they are the same size. Now send the image to the back and delete the current image that's in front. And this is the effect that you are going to have. Duplicate your canvas again and then go to Uploads. This time around, we are going to upload this image of a single earpod. Bring your image onto your canvas and resize it. Now, duplicate your image and then move it, on, move it onto the side and then flip it so that it faces the other one. Now, we are going to put our pods inside our case. Drag them down into a case. We are going to reduce the size of each airport and then place it just here. When you place your airports, make sure that you use these red guidelines just so that they guide you so that your images are well aligned with each other. And now we are going to duplicate our canvas once more. After duplicating our canvas, we are going to reposition our airports and move them just a little bit in an upward position. And while you're moving them, don't forget to resize them. Duplicate your canvas again and then repeat the process of uh, moving your airports in an upward direction. And again, this is the effect that we are going to have. Repeat the same process until your ear pods reach the top of the canvas. Now we are going to work backwards. After reaching the top of the canvas, we are going to move our ear pods in a downward position. As if they are, they are going back into the case. Again, we are going to duplicate our canvas and repeat the process, but this time around in a downward opposite direction. And after this process, this is the effect that we are going to get when the pots are going down into the case. Now we are going to duplicate the last frame where our ear pots are about to land inside the case. Now that we've duplicated our frame, we are going to resize our airports. Repeat the process of resizing and moving the airports in a downward position. And this is how our effect is going to look like. Duplicate your frame again, and this time in your duplication, make sure that your airports disappear inside your case. This is how we're going to do it. Duplicate your 
duplicate your frame again and this time around in your next uh, frame delete the images of your earpods now again this is our effect and now we are going to duplicate our frame for the last time in our last frame we'll go to uploads and choose this image of a closed case bring your image onto your canvas then we'll resize the image and place it in the exact position as the first image then we'll send the image to the back and then delete the image in front and this is how our effect is going to look like as if the case is closing now what we are going to do is to change the duration of our frames in the toolbar tap on this little clock and then adjust the time of your frame let's uh, make our frame 0 0.3 seconds and then apply to all the pages that means when you toggle on this button is going to apply the duration to all the frames for this project we are not going to use any transition instead we are going to leave a transition at none which is our default transition and this is our final project if you enjoyed this video you found value in this video please subscribe comment and hit the notification button until the next video peace